morning folks as it goes these catties uh, in the old shed as usual um right i've had some comments about people saying that i live in my shed and i'm out in the shed and blah 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 the reason why i'm kind of out in my shed one is because it is my shed and two my wife is now currently working from home so it's not a bad thing is it really that when i need to do my videos now you know rather than flitting around doing inside the house i'll do them in the shed okay so what i want to do in this video is i want to talk about a little compact kit okay so stay tuned for another uh, fun and uh, interesting video video so as most of us bushcrafters outdoorsmen fishermen hunters blah 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 we all like to try and um well i do personally because obviously you know with me you know with my reference to desmark you know anyway um i like to try and obviously come up with little ideas to share with you folks um about making my kit or or giving you ideas of making your kit maybe a little bit more compact maybe looking at ways of reducing the weight and so on and so forth you know what i mean whether it works it might work for me but it might not work for you you might have some other ideas if you do please share them leave a comment you know i am always appreciate the feedback but anyway what i want to do is show you this little compact kit that i kind of put together quite recently i wanted to do a video on it um some time ago didn't get around to it didn't get around to it so i'm doing it now Right, so for now you can just listen to my dulcet tones. So this is just a zipped kind of uh, molly attachment pouch make unknown. Couldn't tell you what it is. I've had it for quite a while. But anyway, I've just been putting this kit together. And um, whether, will I use it? Maybe so. It might go in my Hydro 30 or something like that as a real lightweight bit of kit. But it won't go into my Steuben, I don't think, because I've got other kit in there that I already use and that I find quite suitable. But if you're looking at ways of maybe going a bit lighter, maybe going a little bit more compact, then you know who knows it might tick the boxes for some of you okay so let's look i'm not you know it's not about the pouch it's about the contents so first of all straight away you can see there there's an orange bit sticking out everybody know most people know i like a bit of orange and basically what i've got in there is a buff buff has obviously multiple uses you can use it as obviously for your you know as a hat um as a neck warmer and then further on you can use it maybe as to put over the top of a bottle if you're obviously taking some water from a river just to stop the sediment and, and particular getting in now I could maybe place that over the top of the bottle okay stick it in the water and then I can just reduce the sedimentation that I'm collecting inside the bottle okay so there's just a couple of, there's just a couple of things there also it acts as a it also acts as a kind of a an emergency signal uh, a passive signal so you could hang that up near your tarp hang it up on a branch or whatever and it's a little bit eye-catching okay so there's a there's a one um sort of thing we've got there and that's the that's the buff and that's a buff there let's shove that back in okay so in the zip pouch there we've got so let's open the zip pouch inside i've got a compass okay it's probably not the best quality compass and i don't mean quality as in because it's a silver compass and it's a type 4 but the reason being because it's got a um it's one of my old compasses really it's got a bubble in it and also the base plate is slightly cracked but obviously i'm not a, i'm not a careless bugger it's just something that happened years ago. Um, I will still use this. You can still get away with using a compass if it's got a bubble in the housing. You've just got to be careful that, you know, if you start taking bearings and stuff like that, that the bubble doesn't obviously um, hit the needle either end because obviously that will take the, the um, that will obviously um, have a, a concern on your, um, on your bearings. Another thing that I've got in here is a good old Mylar blanket. All right, stands to reason what they're used for. All right, to keep you warm, a bit of body heat. Obviously, be careful if you're using one of these. If you're using them for too long, then obviously they start to condensate on the inside and you might as well just use a plastic bag because you'll end up getting wet anyway. All right, so you, what you want to do is try and achieve um, a gap where that you're actually close to the mylar, but it's obviously far enough so you can just feel the heat off it, but it's obviously far away that there's still a little bit of air circulation getting to it. Okay, I've also got some hand warmers in now. All right, again, there's a little emergency there just to use if my hands get too cold. All right, so that's all I've got in there. I do believe, yep, that's all. So anyway, let's leave it out for a minute and I can put that away after. Now in the main pouch itself, if we just undo it there and bang! Right, so I haven't got, you know, there's just a few bits in here. Some of you might recognize some of the stuff straight away. Some of you won't, who knows? Right, so if we just work from uh, sort of uh, be the right of the screen, wouldn't it, I suppose? Right, so first of all, what I've got in there, I keep a spare um, ferro rod with a scraper. 
Okay. I'll keep that as a spare one inside the kit. All right. Right next to that then I've got a lighter, Bic lighter. It's a brand new Bic lighter. Okay. It's good to have obviously, you know, spark, flame and maybe solar in, re in regards to, uh, uh, you know, sort of having a magnifying glass or something like that. The magnifying glass I could maybe use for solar. I could use the, um, I could use the magnifying glass on the base plate of the compass. Okay, moving along. I've also got some um, safety pins. The safety pins are obviously stands to reason good for, you know, first aid for doing plasters, repairs on clothing. Um, if you watched my other video some time ago, I actually made a, a, uh, a fishing rod and the fishing rod what I've done with the fishing rod we I, I broke down some um, safety pins bent them over and they're my eyelets that I've used for the uh, for the fishing rod all right so uh, again many uh, many uses as well what they're good for because you know if we're out in the woods some of the t sometimes when we're handling wood and all the rest of it might get splinters so it's obviously handy to use a splinter for such um, eventualities moving on again I've got a simple um, this is just a simple um, knife sharpener okay then the next to it again I've got a new um, spare um, physical um, water purifier very similar to the soil one I believe this is a Lixada one okay I bought one just because of the color because it's kind of green and military looking all right I've got this there that fits inside the bag like so just keeping it in there nice and tidy all right then we've got a leather man this is the original leather man I've had this leather man leather man I've had this leather man for since about 1988 I think it was so it's quite an old it's one of the original leather mans and uh, still going strong after all all these years all right so we've got a leather man in now also I've got some uh, some of the straws with the cotton wool and um, Vaseline in now petroleum jelly or whatever great little fire lighters but they just slot in there like so so if you don't want to bring a tinder pouch and you don't want to bring this and you don't want to bring that this is just another this is kind of an alternative way of just having things compact and together you know give you some ideas also got some brass wire in now also got a can opener with a little spoon on there because I'm all about those uh, you know multitasking all right so that goes there like so, slips in there, brass wire goes next to it. Then I've also got a couple of candles and uh, another smaller um, cotton warm Vaseline uh, straw. Moving along, got a couple of Silume sticks, quite handy for uh, emergency um, signalling and also good if you just want to sort of hang it over your shelter for a bit of lighting. Then if we go into the back there, what I've got in here is just the final components for the um, for the water purifier. So I've got a rubber, I've got a little rubber hose there. Okay, we've got the bag or a little kid, uh, little bladder that attaches onto the filter, and then finally I've got a syringe. The syringe is obviously used for for flushing out debris out of the um, out of the filter. Obviously, it's not a bad idea if you do collect the water using the um, buff. Yeah, that'll take a lot of the sediment out there, and then if you want to put it for a filter you know you can do so because then that obviously prevent that obviously um, helps the shelf life of your filter because you're not putting loads and loads of sediment through it all right also it can be used for first aid as well for flushing out injuries and stuff like that okay now I haven't put any first aid kits in uh, first aid bits in there or anything like that because I carry a first aid kit separately that's red or green or something like that and it's marked with a cross on it so that if I do injure myself or if, if I do injure my knock myself out then someone can obviously use Use my first aid kit to obviously repair me if need be all right all right folks so there it is that is just a little compact kit okay obviously it's handy you know it does tick the boxes in certain ways because you might not want to carry an extra tinder kit and stuff like that because you've already got little straws with um, vaseline and cotton wool in there okay if you want to do it natural then that's down to you but then at least you've got that as a backup in an emergency if it's cold wet and everything else and you're struggling to get the fire like we sometimes do like I definitely do we're only human um, and obviously I've got the option there that if I do run out of water I need to get some water and I've got a little filter in there as well so it's a kind of a compact kit it's a little bit ongoing all right it might be something that you might want to do yourself okay or come up with some other ideas yeah yeah I could put this in it I could put that in it okay um, you know I don't 
don't want to get into a into a pissing competition with anyone about what they put in in this kit if you think it's a good idea then let me know if you think it's a bad idea let me know okay and tell me what you use all right so uh, there it is folks all right so thanks for watching um don't forget to subscribe to the channel don't forget to share my videos that'll be great you know get me up there get me up to that 2000 mark with the uh, subscribers and um Please stay safe, all right? And then I'll see you on the next video, folks. Take care. Laters. Love ya. See you later. Bye. Ciao. Oh, I love a dirty. Hong ha hi. Bonga bing. Bingy bong. Bing a bing. Dicky dick. Ba ba ba. Bye. <laughs>